Luma AI Dream Machine has made animation of AI videos so easy for everyone. What this video I created with the Luma AI Dream Machine if it's not beautiful. The younger son said to his father, Father, I want my share of the inheritance now. I want to go out and see the world. The father was wow this is so wonderful now let me show you how i created this ai animation video with the luma ai dream machine and other ai tools for free somewhere in this video i'm going to let you know how you can have access to all the prompts that i use in this particular video so make sure you watch this video to the end do not skip watch everything so that you can have access to all the prompts that i use let's continue generate our script we are going to use ChatGPT to do that so i asked ChatGPT, give me 50 lists of children bible stories idea so chat gpt gave me 50 ideas that i can select from to write my story then i went in with the next form write for me short children's story of the prodigal son in the bible chat gpt did well by writing the story for me to use then i asked chat gpt again to generate youtube script for me based on the story so i went in with the next form by saying now i want you to break this story into youtube script for me then chat gpt divided this story into nine scenes for me that i can narrate for my story now i ask ChatGPT based on the scenes you have provided above create from for each of these scenes for me that i can use to generate ai animation images i am asking ChatGPT this prompt because i wouldn't be able to create images using the free version ChatGPT free version if this were to be the premium version i will be able to create images here but because i'm using the free version we are going to use another free free AI image platform to create our images that we can transform into animations later. So ChatGPT gave us 9 prompts that we can use to generate AI images for the 9 scenes that it provided earlier on. So we are going to use another AI platform to generate our AI images. So let's visit the Microsoft Bing AI platform to generate our AI images. So on Microsoft Bing, we can use the designer or the co-pilot to generate our AI images is we are going to try both to see the outcome so we are going to copy our first prompt copy that then go to your co-pilot right click inside the box and paste your prompt now we are going to choose the type of images that we want either realistic image anime or 3d pixel images so we are going to specify by adding it to the prompt so we added 3d pixel images we click on the submit button for our image to be generated for us next is to copy the second prompt paste it again and then add our 3d pixel images click on the submit button and submit so we are going to try the designer tool to see the outcome so let's go back to chat gpt copy the third image and go to our designer and paste it there add the 3d pixel images as your as a type of images that you want unless you want realistic then you can add realistic but we want a 3d pizza Click on the create button to create your image so you see it's the same thing you can either use a copilot or the designer now we can go ahead and preview our images and click on the download to download our images so this is how you create images using the copilot and the designer in microsoft bing ai next is to add animations to our story so in our browser we type luma ai choose luma dream machine and click on the try button or try now button this is one of the animations i created here you can see how how our animation will be looking or how professional it is looking and we are going to go ahead and sign up if you don't have an account or sign in if you already have an account so let's go back click on go back button then to add your image to transform it to animation we are going to click on the small icon in the box there click on it go to your files and select the images that you want to animate select your first image click on the open button to add it then we are going to add a prompt that we use to generate these images so we're going to go back to the designer and choose the prompt that we use to create this particular ai image so let's go back to microsoft bing ai designer we are going to copy look for the image that we have uploaded there on luma ai and look for the prompt so we copy that prompt 
from from here copy go back to luma ai and paste it here as a description so we want the ai to know the kind of action we want the images to take then we click on the send button to create our first animation this is going to take a while luma ai is free and we also have the premium version the free takes a long time to create so the first animation i created it took me about 10 to 12 hours to create that so you can go ahead uh, download all the images or all the images that you want to animate overnight then the next day you can come back and then check on that then we add a second image add the next prompt to e so go back to designer and look for the image that you created we are looking for the prompt that we use to create that particular image so that we can copy that for the ai to know the kind of actions we want our images to take in that particular scene so go through the images and select the image so this is the prompt we use we copy that we go back to luma ai and paste it in the box there then we can clean the 3d pixel from there and click on the submit button now luma ai has limited the free version to five animations per day so if you want to take your creation or this type of videos to the next level it is better you go for the premium version so that you can freely create images without having to go through all these inconveniences so we are going to try the third image again select that and then copy the prompt that we use to generate that particular image from the designer and click on copy and paste it and click on the submit button so you can do that overnight and the next day your animation will be ready the first ones i created it took about 12 hours to create so i'm going to leave this overnight so after 12 hours my animations were created so this this is one of the images that are downloaded that has been transformed into animation now we can no more add any image to animate because we have exceeded our limit for the day that is why you, if you want to take these images or this animation to the next level you would have to use the paid version so these are all the images that are downloaded and it has been transformed or it has been animated for me on this platform this is free if you want to do more than these then go for the premium version or the paid version so that it will fasten everything for you so we are going to click on the download button to, to download each of these animations so click on the download button and download download this now from the animation you can see watermark on animation so to remove the watermark we are going to use 123apps.com to remove our watermark so in your browser you can type 123apps then look for remove logo from video click on that click on open file select the clips that you generated with the luma ai select one after the other click on the box to activate or to change your cursor then move your cursor to where the watermark is select it or highlight it and click on apply button now you can click on the save button and click on export to export your animation without any watermarks if you want it higher than 720 pixels then you can go for the paid version but we are going to use the 720 since it's a free version Click on the export to export your animation. After processing, click on the save button to download your animation onto your drive. So this is what you do to the rest of the clips that you have generated with the Luma AI. Next is to generate our voiceover. We are going to use 11 Labs or Clip Chunk to do that. So let's first try the 11 Labs. If you don't have an account, sign up. If you have an account, sign in. Now we are going to paste our first script into the box and select our voiceover artist. So listen to all the voiceover artists and select the one that suits your story. Click on the Generate Speech button. Then wait for some few seconds for your for your voiceover to be generated. Listen to it. If you like it, go for it. If you don't like it, then you have to change it this is another option we click on the generate speech button again and listen to the voiceover now click on the download button to download your voiceover to your drive the next option to create a voiceover is to use clip champ so on clip champ we are going to use a text to speech option click on the try it button and choose text to speech then choose one of the voiceover option here using the arrow and click on this one of these voiceover listen to the voice first if it suits you or you like it you are satisfied then you can go for it then choose the accent we are going to use the united states english accent then in the text box here we paste our first script then click on the save button to save your script to generate your voiceover after generating your voiceover hit on the export button 
and choose the lowest resolution to export your voice over before we continue if you haven't subscribed to this channel click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel if you also want me to share all the prompt that i use in this video with you let me know that in the comment section below type in the comment section in my legacy studio share the prompt with me and i'm going to share all the prompts that i use in this particular video with you let's continue this is going to be exported in mp4 because it's a video file we are going to convert this into an mp3 file using another ai platform so in our browser type mp4 to mp3 we are going to use cloudconvert.com select file from here and choose the file that you want to convert then make sure everything has been selected mp3 mp4 to mp3 and this particular button has been selected to mp3 we have different options here but we are going to use the mp3 option and click on convert now click on the download button to download your converted file this is the file that we converted to mp3 so these are mp3 file and this is the mp4 file you can see the difference now we are going to use the mp3 file for our video next is to assemble all our clips and audio files using a video editor for the purpose of this video we are going to use canva to do that because it's a free platform that we can leverage on so on canva type video in the search bar to choose any of these video template that appear Yes. you can choose any of these video templates or choose a blank template that you can edit so we are going to choose one go to the upload section and click on upload files import all the animation that you generated to canva click on the open file to open and then we are going to add our audio select the audio file that you generated and converted using the cloud convert now we are going to assemble all these clips on the timeline we start by adding the first image right click on it click on set image as background to fit into the space now add another page to add the next video so we are going to choose the first video for the first scene the boy talking to the daddy and we are going to add another page by clicking on the plus sign and add the next video we are going to add another animation again keep doing this so you finish adding all the animations so we are going to select each of these animations and right click on it and choose set video as background double tap on the image and drag it to fit into the space right click set video as image background double tap on it and adjust the video next is to add our audio file to our timeline so go back to upload click on the audio button Choose the voiceover that you imported to Canva and add it to your timeline. Make sure your play button is at the beginning of the first page. Try play your video to see if it matches your audio. Now click in the middle of one of the pages and add transition to your animations. So we click on the transition icon and choose one of the transition. We are going to use the dissolve. Click on apply between all pages for the effect to be applied to all the pages next is to add text to our video so click on the text button choose any of these styles and edit it by writing the title of your story in that box add effect by clicking on the effect button change the color a bit and animate your text by clicking on the animate button choose any of these animation to animate your text click on it and click off it after making all your corrections click on the share button then click on download button and click on download again to download the video onto your drive next is to add auto caption to your story for the audience to be able to follow the story as you read or as you narrate so i'm going to use CapCut online editor to do that if you are using a phone to do your editing you will not need the online editor you can use the offline editor but if you're using the desktop then you will need the online editor to do this so select CapCut, then click on create new and choose 16 by 9 aspect ratio then click on the plus sign to upload a video that you created with canva wait for the video to be uploaded before you edit it then check if the video has been uploaded it is 100 percent uploaded now now we can click on captions from the left there are four options there we can choose manual captions and we can choose other captions but we are going to use the auto captions so click on it and click on generate to generate the auto captions for you now double tap on the auto captions and do some few editing so we, when you double tap on it this 
box will appear at the right side where you have styles and templates choose one of the styles and also come to the templates and choose one of the templates so we have so many templates that we can choose from we are going to go with this particular template next is to add background music to our video so you head over to your youtube studio and go to the audio library section tap on audio library button click on the filter button and click on the search button to search for a music that you want to add to your video so i type christmas in the search bar then i chose one of these videos click on the download button at the right side and download the music to your drive and go back to your editor and add your music so you click on the upload button and choose the music that you downloaded from youtube and add the music to your timeline now tap on the music and reduce the volume of the music so click on the volume button and reduce it so these are the few editing that we'll be doing on CapCut. next is to export our video after all the corrections have been made click on the export button and choose download rename the file by using the file name or the story name so we have prodigal son hit on the export button and wait for the video to be exported for you voila our video has been exported it is now on our drive thank you for watching this video up to this point if you haven't watched our previous video that we posted on this channel or you want to know how to create african folktale stories using free ai tools that video will be popping up after watching this video click on it and watch it if you haven't subscribed to this channel to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel and leave a comment below in the comment section let me know your thoughts on this video if there's something that you want me to do or a video that you want me to do let me know that in the comment section and i'm going to take my time to do that video purposely for you now let's watch the video we just created using the luma ai dream machine once upon a time there was a kind and loving father who had two sons they lived on a beautiful farm with lots of animals fields of crops and a big cozy house one day the younger son said to his father father i want my share of the inheritance now I want to go out and see the world. The father was sad to see his son go, but he gave him the money he asked for. The younger son packed his bags and set off on an adventure. 